Hello, Nokomak. Sorry about that. So, I had to actually kill my um, uh, simulator in order to rerun the app. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, check it out. So, I have the app running, and let's go ahead and click on the... Let's run this again, just to make sure that everything is working fine. Okay, so if I click edit, uh, I have the selection state. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, but there is a uh, check mark appearing. So let's go ahead and fix that issue first. Um, so we want to make sure that our checkbox is center aligned, is of white uh, color for the uh, foreground. And let's see, we want to find out what kind of font it is. So I think it's about 25 points. It's gonna do okay so yeah I think uh, those things should do it yeah okay let's go ahead and rerun this so I just set the uh, color and the and the font size and the aligning property so it should actually okay so that's looking better so if you notice now we are able to select our multiple uh, cells okay with that one change now if you click done and if you click uh, edit again, you notice that we still have like, you know, one of these uh, cells selected. Now, reason we have just one of them selected because um, when we enter the editing state, that's when we have multiple selection allowed and uh, we actually disallow multiple selection uh, when the editing is off. So whatever uh, the last index or like, you know, whatever one of the indexes that it can find, it just selects that and leaves that off. Anyways, uh, it's not going to be an issue because our need is basically when user clicks done, uh, we want to deselect everything and reset the state uh, for all of these. So for that, for that reason, what we're going to do is we're going to put this a little logic in place where we're going to say uh, that collection view dot index path for selected items. OK, dot for each. So if uh, there's, there are any uh, selected items, uh, we want to take those selected items and index path for those so we're gonna get the index path of those and you're gonna say collection view dot deselect item at index path animated true okay or animated false actually because we don't want to we want to take this we want to make sure that it takes into effect like immediately so let's make sure hold on uh, let me kill this okay all right, you start. Because this is what happened last time when I had to crash my uh, simulator. It showed that error. Okay, so if I select these three, these four, this five, okay. And I deselect, everything is, is perfect. Okay, cool. So that is uh, that is what uh, we were uh, doing in this video. Now, in the next video, we what we want to do is uh, as soon as uh, you click on, you enter the editing state, uh, we want to show at the bottom a uh, uh, delete, uh, basically an, a nav bar, uh, and that and that nav bar, a bottom nav bar, and uh, we're going to show a delete button on that, and that uh, delete button is basically going to take care of deletion for the items. Okay. So that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna do in the next video. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.